Hey y'all, Q here from In The Green Creations. I've been woodworking for a few years now and I quickly came to realize how important a track saw was in my life. So when I was first looking into this, all the big price tags definitely just pushed me away. So what I ended up choosing was this Husky track. It, you can extend with another piece. And in the beginning, it definitely served its purpose. Uh, but now I'm definitely to the point where this thing has lost its accuracy. I actually have to use that yellow six foot straight edge as a guide whenever I'm doing cuts because this joint came loose somehow and now every time I make a cut, it bows. So today, we get to open up our new Makita track saw that I ended up choosing. I got two of the 55 inch tracks, a couple of the clamps and the connecting kit as well. So not only are we going to open these today, we are also going to build a mounting system for the track, the clamps and the connecting kit, but we're gonna mount it to my garage door. So, I really don't know how this is gonna work or how well this is gonna work, but that's the plan as of right now. Uh, but I really don't know what the design is gonna be until I see it all laid out in front of me. So let's unbox. So first impressions. Wow, I love these tracks. They're not going anywhere. I'm not sure how much I'll actually need these clamps because these things are so sticky. Between the two pads and then the actual uh, rubber zero clearance uh, guard, uh, this thing just doesn't budge no matter how crazy I'm pushing on it. <laughs> the saw itself feels great in my hand. I love the ergonomics of the actual grip itself. I like that there's a key in it. Let's see how... Small modifications. Oh, there's zero to little play and it slides so smooth.
absolutely brilliant. Ugh. Ugh. Cool. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I am going to hop into the computer. I think what I want to do is design some sort of piece for the track itself to slide into. Have maybe one or two hooks on the bottom and then some sort of thing on the top that toggles down and applies pressure. That way it all stays when the door itself goes up too. So that's the plan. I'll spend some time in the computer and we're gonna see if that actually works or not though. So I messed around on the computer all day and I think I found a solution to how I'm going to get this mounted up on the actual door itself. What I'm going to do is I'm going to have these three pieces of MDF and those will be mounted to the door on the top and the bottom. On each piece of MDF will be one of these brackets. And those are the exact negative of the fat side and the skinny side of each. So what I'll do is I will slide in each one of these, scooch it over into this negative of each one. So that'll scooch right on in, nice and tight. And then I'll come in with my other one Slide that down into the end cap. And then I'll take these toggles and tighten it all together. And that way the door can move up and down and these won't ever move at all. At least I think. Let's find out. First things first, I just want to say that this turned out way better than I could have ever dreamed. Holy crap, is this just... It is so sturdy and it's really easy to just flip these up, take these out and tighten it and you're ready to get cutting. So now I am trying to figure out how to store my track clamps my connector set and my extra blades. It is nice because the sustainer kit 
actually has a little thing in the bottom of it that holds the blades. So extra blades, extra blades go in here. And then your track saw sits right on top of it, which is cool. But there's absolutely no room for these in that sustainer kit at all. So I think I have a plan and I hope this works. What I'm gonna do is take some of this Kaizen foam, trace out the shape of this, and then cut in spots for these, the blades, and then hopefully it'll all slide into there. I think this might just be riding around on the inside. I might find a way to maybe squish it to the side, but that'll be an afterthought more than anything. So let's see if this works.
All right, y'all, so that is it for today's episode. I hope you enjoyed watching the unboxing and the process of building this ultimate storage solution for both of my tracks up on my garage door and then my clamps and my extra saw blades for in the actual box itself. Now for the actual tool itself, first of all, I just wanna state that I am not sponsored by Makita, nor did they send this to me for free. I did purchase this with my own money. Actually, I did not. This was a Christmas present collectively from a handful of people. So thank you guys for helping me get this. Uh, for the saw itself, I do love how you can go from a one degree bevel to a 40 degree, 48 degree bevel. Uh, it slides on the actual track very, very smoothly. I love how easy it is and it's nice and tight to the track too. Uh, the actual connecting system between the tracks, I am a little worried about that. Uh, when I did my long cut, I put my straight edge on it and at the end of my cut, it was off by about, or at least the last foot was off by about a 16th of an inch. I know that's not a lot, but that does make a difference and it puts things at a square. So I'm not sure if I need to buy a second connector kit and put that in the top side of the rail, uh, but I'm gonna do a little bit more research into that. Other than that, I really do love this saw. I like that it does have a two millimeter stop gauge on it. So you can just score the top of the surface of the wood and then go back in a second time and plunge further to get an actual cut through. And that helps reduce splintering. Uh, as for the dust collection, I'm not sure how well it works just because I don't have a hose that's small enough to uh, hook up to this. All I have is two and a half inch or four inch hosing uh, in my actual shop. So. I'm looking forward to seeing how well that this works with dust collection hooked up to it. But other than that, it was a super fun build. I absolutely loved designing all of that and I couldn't be more proud of how that thing turned out. Uh, but if you guys liked what you saw today, be sure to like and subscribe. If not, then I guess we won't see you next time.